It's my feel good breakfast show. Well, the feel good continues. The Sardine Run is a major annual attraction for the KwaZulu Natal South Coast, an event that sees the planet's largest biomass migration of billions of sardine fish move northward along South Africa's coastline. Now, this results in a feeding frenzy that attracts a variety of marine life. Now, with the level three restrictions permitting recreational subsistence and commercial angling, people have come out in their numbers to support local anglers buying crates upon crates of sardines. The CEO of Ugu South Coast Tourism in KZN, Upelisa Mango, joins us to tell us more about this event as well as the economic benefits it holds for the surrounding communities. And Dr. Ryan Daly accompanies her to give us the science behind this annual event. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Um, Pelis, I'm going to start with you. Why is the Sardine Run such a big tourism draw card for KZN? Well, the, the, the sudden run is a tourism attraction. It's an activity that takes place during the win winter months in the KZN South Coast. Mm. For us in the KZN South Coast, this is an activity that is very much attractive to our tourists. Mm. Uh, winter in general is difficult to generate uh, tourists in general throughout the world. It's a, it's a challenge to bring tourists during winter. But now for us in the KZN South Coast, between May and July, we have this natural phenomena that takes place that becomes an attraction for people to come and enjoy. Mm. It's called the, the greatest soul on earth. And the other one is the sudden fever. People go crazy <laughs> to want to see this little fish. And we are known as the KZN South Coast as a place where this activity takes place. Dr. Ryan Daly, I'm sure so many of us want to know what's the science behind the sardine run? You know, why do these sardines migrate in such large numbers during this time of the year and to the south coast? Um, so the sardine is typically a colder water species of fish and what happens during winter months, the cooler water comes up the coast, um, typically inshore, and the sardines are able to extend their range following the cooler water as it extends up the coast to the KZN. Uh, coastline and they come up following the cool water and spawn while they're up here as well and it pretty much all seems to concentrate around the KZN south coast which is where they come closest to shore and in most numbers. Well listen it's definitely on the bucket list but you know how has this year's run been affected by the pandemic and you know just subsequent restrictions? It has been greatly affected in the sense that it's not as easy for people to come from other provinces to come and experience the sudden run. Under normal circumstances, the schools would be closed right now and people would be on holidays. Mm -hmm. And they would experience the sudden run during the holiday period. Now, it's different this time around because tourism is not operating fully up until level two. So... It has been affected by, by COVID-19, mm. but we are trying as Ugu South Coast Tourism to make sure that we still share the experience with the people through our social media platforms and through the media. Mm. Um, and how is the sardine run of specific economic benefit to the surrounding KZN communities, particularly in light of the res recent lockdown restrictions where many people have been unable to work, for example? Well, this is a source of income for, mm. for, for netters and fishermen. So the, the coming of this fish to the K KZN uh, shores uh, makes it an instrument for them to generate income because they, because they sell the, the, the sardines mm. to, to other people, restaurants and others who come and, and, and buy from them. So it, it is a source of income. I, I can easily say it is a poverty allevi alleviation mm. measure that the people of the South Coast benefit from. Mm. And this year, Dr. Daly, bigger shoals of sardines migrated to the coast than in many years before. Is there a particular reason behind this? Look, the, the, the drivers behind the numbers of sardines that we see are, are largely unknown but this year has certainly been a bumper year we've seen such a volume of sardines more than i've ever seen 
uh, before. And I think the conditions have been perfect this year for, for the run, uh, for the number of sardines to all be concentrated up against the coastline in the Kazadin South Coast. And I think there's just been a bumpy year in terms of the, the volume, the number of actual fish. So it's been incredible to see. Well, we certainly can't wait to see all the pictures and all the selfies, but Ugu South Coast Tourism is keeping us connected and has made up-to-date information and videos on the sardine run readily available to the public. But where can people get a hold of this information? People can get information from our Facebook page, South Coast Tourism, and also from our Twitter handle. We are constantly updating uh, people and having virtual tours of the sardine run on these pages and also our website. Thank you so, so much to the CEO of Ugu South Coast Tourism, Upelisa Mangu, and Dr. Ryan Daly for joining us this morning and shedding some light on this awesome event that I'm pretty sure a lot of people were not aware of. But as Jamie said earlier on, we are definitely jotting it down on our bucket list. I hope that you have a fantastic morning further. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. It was, uh, we enjoyed being with you.